I thought it was an enemy attack. But it's only a piece of paper. Uh, what is it? A wanted poster. Whoa, check out the bounty. It's really high. <gasps> Does that mean the bandits who sacked the hotel are really, really dangerous? Is there a quicker way around the hotel? We need to hurry up and search for the other hostages. Hmm. I have a plan. Come, follow me. <laughs> it's so slippery and sticky. Ugh, slippery and sticky? <gasps> Is that apricot jam? A fine mess. This chaos prevents us from finding what we need. Sounds like a job for... <laughs> Housekeeping! Am I seeing things? <sighs> uh? <laughs> this gunk won't come off easily. Syndicate scoundrels! This is unforgivable! We can't just leave it like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try scrubbing it a bit more! <gasps> we did it! The painting's smiling again! <laughs> a child? A very... Wealthy child, it seems. I wonder who it might be. Me. Huh. What? This hotel is... Well, there's no simpler way to put it. The Grand Cabinet Hotel is my childhood home. Most of the decor, the antiques, the furniture you see here today, belonged to my family. Wait, so you used to live here? Were you in charge of decorating or, or cleaning? No, no, look at the portrait. Anyone with a portrait must have been rich. Or his parents must have been the owners of the hotel. Wrong on all accounts. This grand hotel was once the house of Danish's... What I meant was... My family's manor was refurbished to become this hotel. What happened? Why did your family home become a hotel? A great many things happened. But now is not the time to share this tale. Now, if we shift this portrait aside, voila! A secret passage. <gasps> Are those voices at the end of the passage? Huh? <gasps> that voice! <gasps> it's the chef! <laughs> uh, sounds like he's in trouble. <laughs> Something smells awful! <laughs> Ruining food is unforgivable! <laughs> There's another voice! <laughs> They sound distressed and out of breath. Do they need water? We need to help! The barber shop. It's Miss Scarab's voice. She sounds really frightened. Or perhaps threatened. We need to hurry! Where should we go first? Let's go! Open wide! <laughs> For the love of all cuisine, stop! Hold it! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're interrupting my mint chocolate battered fried ham with salted licorice glaze taste test! Wait! I know you! Yeah, the boss hates your guts. Mark. Mark. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know you. Hang on. I want to say... Marshmallow cookie? It's marble Danish cookie. I am the heir to... Uh, <clears throat> release these employees at once. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I beg your pardon? You're interrupting an important taste test. I will vanquish you with ease. On guard, you scoundrel! Eh? On guard? Nah, nah. -uh. I'm talking about a cooking contest! A contest? 
The fair and square contest of skill! And what's the first step in cooking, hmm? Gathering ingredients! <gasps> what should we make? Ooh, any ideas, Marvel Danish cookie? Yeah, you probably know a lot of dishes and desserts. I, um, I have no knowledge of cooking. I've tasted many dishes before, but I've never made any of them myself. If it were an eating contest, oh, I could probably... Oh, what do we do? None of us know how to cook either. Step aside. Huh? Are you going somewhere? I'm pretty sure we should stay and... No, silly. I meant that I know how to cook. I'll take up the mantle and win this competition. After all, I have first-hand experience as a part-time chef. Let's find some ingredients to work with. There's no such thing as a part-time chef. The chef is about devoting your life to cuisine. I've already won before you even started. <laughs> Ooh! Are you gonna just stand there and take the lizard cookie? Well, that taunt contains an inkling of truth. There is quite a significant lack of ingredients available. It seems that mostly everything was used in that awful slush. Are those gourmet wafers? Is there a way you can use those in a dish? I see you've a fine eye for ingredients. Alrighty then, I need as many wafers as we can get. These will do nicely, but I can't cook up a gourmet dish with just wafers. What sort of dish are you thinking, Wizard Cookie? I was thinking along the lines of a potently sweet dessert. What about those? Pumpkin candies, a fine snack on their own. Their flavor may complement... I concur! We're really out of options now. I too do not see anything useful. After all that hustling and bustling, <laughs> you'll lose. Then you'll cry. I wonder what cookie tears taste like. I didn't want to resort to this, but I have no choice but to cast a spell to conjure some fresh ingredients. No magic in my kitchen! slope is exponentially worse. Hey, I poured my heart and soul into this. Nice. Uh? You're a culinary genius! Huh? Savory, sweet, crunchy, chewy? This is unfettered genius! This is too weird. <laughs> Extremely. Weird. 
I mean, uh, I knew I'd win. This isn't fair! I'm gonna have to call in some reinforcements! There is nowhere to run, no one to call. Surrender now, and quietly. Uh, you think you're really all that, margarine cookie? It's marble Danish cookie! Hey! We won, right? We all did a great job! You should be more careful when moving around in the kitchen. You're lucky it's just a cutting board that fell. Oh, it's gotten dirty. We should probably clean this place up a bit. Leave the dishwashing to me. I can handle the porcelain and silverware with care and ease. Sounds like Wizard Cookie should be a full-time chef. Cooking is just like magic. It requires meticulous research and strict measurements. Uh, uh, guys, this cutting board, it's getting dirtier the more I wipe it. Hey, what's that? Do you see that? It's a picture? Whoa, there's a lot of cookies in this picture. They're all wearing something like... uh... you know? They are indeed. These are the cookies who were once in the service of House Danish. From your name, am I correct to assume that you too are part of this House Danish? Indeed. But my family has fallen so low that it can no longer regain its former glory. I... oh... I think I hit a nerve. In the past, the House of Danish had amassed much wealth and authority. The entirety of the witch's cabinet was once the family manor. <sighs> was once. <laughs> w what happened? Bandits pilfered our collection of treasures, relics, and family heirlooms. No one was hurt, but the family lost everything, and our employees had no choice but to leave. Oh, at least no one was hurt. Hmm. Perhaps one day you will be able to meet these cookies. Those who have left the manor. So this is why you've such strong resentment for bandits. And rightly so, I would say. Uh, we can't let them get away with this! Come on, let's keep moving! No more, please! <laughs> run, run as fast as you can! I can't feel my legs. Please, no more! Work those muscles! Work them! Cease this madness! <laughs> Who are you? Help me! You heinous fiend! How could you do such a thing? Well, it was really easy. And because I can! Want to see what else I could do? I will not sit idly by as you inflict pain upon innocence, you scoundrel! <laughs> such big words! Or are you just all bark and no bite? How about a contest of strength, huh? A deadlift contest! Stand in front of those barbells! A test of strength? A big cookie like Marble Danish Cookie has got this in the bag! Hmm... What's the matter, Marble Danish Cookie? Is something wrong? Dirty. Huh? What was that? The barbell is absolutely filthy. I dare not touch such a foul object. Huh? I have never seen such a horrendous object. This barbell has more dust on it than a swarming sandstorm, and I've been in a sandstorm. A mask is vital for survival. Yeah, it looks like Marble Danish Cookie is... Uh, confused. <laughs> He's become rather... talkative. What do we do? Simple! We just find a clean barbell. But that's not all. Not all? I have never heard of this deadlift, nor have I performed such a deed before. 
Do you even lift, bro? Uh-oh. We're in real trouble now, aren't we? Oh, is that all? Then I can do it! It seems so fun! Will you be all right, Gingerbread? It looks really heavy. <laughs> I'll be fine. Let's find something sturdier than this flimsy thing, though. Against me? <laughs> You're in for a world of pain. Keep adding choco weights until one of us gives up. Or do you want to just save us some time and give up now? So, only that one rule then? Just keep adding weights? Okay then. Gingerbread's gonna be okay, right? <laughs> the fun's just getting started! Time to add more weights! Cookie sword. You are correct. Painted in this portrait are the three greatest heirlooms of House Danish. The blessed vase is broken and long gone. The other is the very sword I wield today. And the last one is... <gasps> the compass! Yes, the compass. And the reason for which I attended the auction. If only I could afford it. I would have bid on every single family heirloom being sold at the auction. Not just the compass. The compass must be a really important treasure! A truly important and priceless treasure. That mm. Sounds like that compass is really, really important then. Now is not the time to dwell on such thoughts. We must rescue the hostages without fail. Agreed. Let's get moving. You think you're up to, you liar? Well, the hotel. We took it over because. Soccer Tort Cookie was hurt by someone evil. 
And now I'm waiting for that evil cookie. But these guests keep talking <laughs> about a ball. So I'm decorating the place. Um, this is taking a strange turn. Why does it feel like we're talking to Strawberry Cookie? It's because they're both shy. But you're here now, and you seem evil. Soccer Tour Cookie doesn't like evil doers. You are bad, bad cookies. So, um, I'll, uh, um. I take it back. You're nothing like Strawberry Cookie. I agree. Strawberry Cookie is much cuter and much nicer. Um, this is all a bit embarrassing. Cute? Nice? I... what? I see it now. You're a bit like me. You're shy too, and the way you talk is cute, like me. But your cuteness is no match for mine. You, in the pink hoodie, I, uh, I'm, I'm the cutest, and I'll prove it to you. What? Me? You aren't allowed to be cuter than me. You're evil. Let's settle this the right way, by out-cuting the other. What, what does that even mean, out-cuting? Shh, it means what it means. We'll need a mirror and accessories. Bring them. Now! Ooh, looks like we have a cuteness competition! <laughs> Will you be alright, Strawberry Cookie? You don't have to do this if you don't want to. We're here with you, okay? Uh, thanks, Ginger Brave. But I think I can do this. We need to save the guests. Let's find that mirror! Hoodie Cookie here is cuter than me, which isn't true. But if she is, I will leave quietly. But if I'm cuter, and if I win, <laughs> I really don't want to hear the end of that sentence. We better win, no matter what. But, but, but I'm not cute. I'm not cute at all. Oh. If I lose, then everyone will... It's alright, Strawberry Cookie. Just remember, we've got your back, okay? We're with you all the way. Here, let me conjure up some encouraging courage charms in these bottles. That's a good plan. Let's gather up some extra bottles. Broken. Such a shy cookie. Prove she's cuter than me. Oh? What are you doing with these bottles? Hmm? No more bottles for you. <laughs> I win. I know I'll win. Not on our watch. We need to untie those bottles quickly. Everyone, lies, but 
How can you? Not fair! Not fair! <laughs> You're so awesome, Strawberry Cookie! No, I don't think I am. I was really, really nervous. But I just wanted to help and keep the guests safe. And, um, Ginger Brave, thanks for believing in me. You helped me be brave, just like you. What are friends for? We've got your back. An excellent display of courage. Now, shall we continue on our way? <laughs> <laughs> Silly wizard cookie, you're not supposed to break mirrors. It's bad luck. I wasn't trying to break it. I almost accidentally bumped into it. Something fell out from behind the mirror. If the mirror is damaged, then... It's not damaged. A painting fell out from behind the mirror is all. I swear, it's not... Wait, a, a painting? Oh, it really is a painting. Another painting? Oh! Hey, check this out! This is a really cool picture! If I'm not mistaken, is that smaller cookie you, Marble Danish Cookie? And there's another cookie, too. Our family's treasure keeper. What's a treasure keeper? Relics and heirlooms are quite difficult to manage. Sometimes they are damaged or victim to forgeries. Therefore, only the most discerning and clever of cookies could manage the family's treasures. Oh, I see. So, were you best friends with this cookie? As a young cookie, I often attempted to play with the relics. I admit back then, I whined and begged to see them. But the treasure keeper would always give me some candy with a warm smile. I confess, I was the one who broke the blessed vase and feared a harsh scolding, but the treasure keeper kept this a secret. With a warm smile, I was advised that I myself should tell my parents of what happened and ask for forgiveness. So, what happened when you told your parents? I... I, uh... I completely forgot to tell them. This is the burden I bear. I was so afraid of being scolded, I did not confess the truth to my parents. Sounds like this treasure keeper cookie was a very kind-hearted and wise cookie, who thought highly of you. Does this remind you of someone? I feel like we've seen... Well, it is Marble Danish cookie in the painting, but it's when he was a child. No, never mind. I must be mistaken. That was an interesting history lesson, but we should keep moving. <laughs>